So today I'm installing a whole house surge protector in order to protect your house from electrical surge and spikes. Um, the first line of defense is to install a whole house surge protector at your main electric panel. Now this one I have right here retails for about $120. It goes on sale um, online between $65 to $110. Uh, so it's fairly cheap when you compare to like your house insurance deductible. For my house insurance deductible, it's five hundred dollars. So this is well wor worth my investment uh, if I do ever get a surge or a spike, and it can uh, protect my entire um, house uh, home appliances. And this particular brand was actually in uh, the family handyman. I do not know which. I could not remember which issue uh, talked about this, but again, it's recommended. So, so the first thing is to locate your main electric panel. For mine, it's in the closet, and as you open up, you see all the electric breakers right here. Let's first remove the cover right here. Normally, there are four screws. You can see two on the top right here, and then there's two on the bottom right there. After you have all four screws removed, you can just take the electric panel out. <clears throat> so after I remove the cover, as you can see at the bottom right here, that's the main power. Those three big wires right there, that's the main power. It comes uh, into the house. <clears throat> so mine comes from the bottom. Your house or your electric panel might come from the top, but it would be the same idea. It comes from the bottom goes into this uh, this main switch that uh, that uh, distributes the rest of the power to all the circuit breakers right there and these circuit breakers then uh, distrib distributes the power to the rest of the house so before I install the whole house surge protector there's two things I need to identify first of all I need to identify if, that, if I have enough space to install this now f luckily for me <laughs> Um, so you, as you can see, this unit's pretty packed. There's a, a bunch of circuit breakers right here. It goes all the way to the top. Well, I have one that is not being used. So I have three big slots right here that I could install um, the uh, connection to the whole house surge protector. Another thing I need to identify is the brand of the circuit breaker. As you can see right here, it's a GE. Brand, so I'm going to go to the home center and find a double pole GE breaker right now. Now let me explain a little bit what you're seeing in front of you before we start installing the whole house surge protector. Um, first of all, when you see the three main wires coming into your house, one of the wires right here, it is going all the way up and it ties to uh, this bar of white wires and copper exposed wires. Your white wires are your neutral and your copper exposed wires is your ground. As you will notice that your copper, your neutral and your ground are tied together. So there is no voltage difference between both of them. They are shorted together. Um, the second two wires that you'll notice are the two uh, 120 volts that are going into your house. Now, this is a split phase. Both 120 adds up to 240, and as it goes up the center of your panel, let's focus on the very top right here. So, I tied, um, uh, this is my digital multimeter. I have my black probe connected to neutral and I have my red probe right here uh, that I'm going to measure the voltage. Now um, as I said earlier there's two 120 volts coming in here and you can see they alternate back and forth and actually right here as you can see that's 120 right there and this next one right here is also 120. Now this is called this is one pole 
and that's another pole. They add up to two poles. So we need, in order to, to protect both sides of the circuit, we need two poles circuit breaker installed. So here's how we're going to wire the device. Of course, first read the instructions. That's very important. And according to the manufacturer, it requires to use a two pole 20 amp circuit breaker. As you knew earlier, that the ground and the neutral, so these two, is going to tie to the silver bar while the two black wires will go to <clears throat> the contacts right here on the circuit breaker. It doesn't matter which one goes to which, just as long as both of them go right there. So there are two different types of uh, uh, surge protector. One is um, this that you mount on the side of the circuit uh, panel. And the other one is, very, I don't have it, but here's a picture online. Uh, but basically it's just like a normal two pole <coughs> circuit breaker and all you have to do is just pop it in your uh, electric panel and then tie the white wire to the ground bar. Now the reason why I choose this one, everybody has their own uh, reasons why they uh, pick whatever surge protector fits uh, for their needs but the reason why I picked this one is because of the voltage protection rating it can do 600 volts from line to neutral 700 volts from line to, gr to ground and even from line to line has a thousand volts and neutral to ground has a thousand volts now a lot of times people would say that neutral ground doesn't really matter because they're tied together. That's a fair enough statement, but still, it has that line of protection right there. <coughs> Another reason is because the maximum surge current is 80 kiloamps, which is quite a bit. A lot of times, if you get the plug-in type uh, ones, they are only like uh, 25 to 30 kiloamps. Um, and fin finally another reason is uh, also the normal discharge current for this one is 10 kiloamps and that's uh, quite a bit that's a really good rating um, so those are the main reasons why I pick uh, this one instead of the insert so since um, the insert is meant to be uh, mounted on the side panel and as you can see that there's uh, some punch outs right there that uh, I can normally punch out and then mount it on the side but since my electric panel is it's, uh, it's flush uh, on the wall and I can't really mount it on the side so I'm gonna have to jury rig it a little bit <clears throat> so what it is I drilled a hole right here to feed the wires through and I'm now going to punch do a punch out the uh, that uh, hole right there so that the wires can feed through so here's the circuit breaker again it doesn't matter which line goes to which pole just tie it in so in goes one wire tie it down in goes another wire and then tie it down it's pretty snug next thing is to insert it so it latches on to the side right here and after that you just push it down now since this is new it might be hard to push down but that one went down very well so there you go and I'm gonna put back this old one right here. So fi finally, the last thing is to insert the ground in neutral. All you have to do is just uh, loosen up one of this and then Insert it. Tight 
tie it down. Make it snug. Next would be the white, the neutral. That is snug too. So here we go, let's review this one last time. The ground and neutral is tied down there to the silver bar, uh, bar right there. And um, both lines are tied to two different poles. 20 amps breaker, that's what it was recommended. Let's switch that to on. And now let's turn this back on at the main power. So everything came back on. As you can see the light right now is on on both ends means it's protected. Now all I have to do is just put back the panel on.